Welcome back. This is Chris and my brother in Christ, Stephen. The day today is September 24th, year of our Savior, 2017. The title of this video is Freemasonry Exposed. Freemasonry Exposed. And what's interesting is that you look at the uh, Eastern Star, which is representing the Dog Star, Sirius, which is where you would, if you were going to worship it, you would wait for it to rise in the east. So if you faced in the east, you would be facing the eastern star. And that eastern star is, what's interesting is looking at the order of the eastern star, which is a part of Freemasonry, you see five colors, which is white, yellow, blue, red, and green, which deal with magic. And then in the center, there is an altar with a book on it, which once again is symbolic, symbolic of an altar. And the Bible on it or a book on there is symbolic of a religion. And a lot of times they go, oh, it's not a religion. You know, playing the word games, folks. But it is a religion. Mm -hmm. It is a religion. Important to understand that because you have to believe in God. Mere aspect that you have the G in Freemasonry is representative of a religion, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what's also interesting is that you have the pentagram. That supposedly, if it's facing upright, it is good. But if it's inverted, which would be where you have the goat of Mendes in there, um, would be evil. What's interesting is that, is, Stephen, is not the Congressional Medal of Honor an inverted pentagram? Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yes, the inverted pentagram also is where you get the Congressional Medal of Honor. And in the center of the Order of the Eastern Star is the Pentagon, <clears throat> which is a five-sided um, uh, shape. And that's what the Pentagon has chose, the shape to make their building. That's where you had a missile take out the Pentagon, part of the Pentagon, during 9-11-9-1-1, which was a false flag attack. So, just something to think about, folks. So we're talking about conversions on, Freema on Freemasonry by Henry Wilson Coyle published by the McCoy Publishing and Masonic Supply Company, the leading Masonic publisher, page 163, chapter uh, 5, Freemasonry and Religion, the Holy, Holy Bible, or the VSL, Masonic Charity. Quote, Masonic writers have differed. Mackey called Freemasonry a religion. Pike dissented. Pike argued that one could not hold two religions at the same time and hence, a Christian, a Jew, or a Muhammad who retained his religion cannot accept masonry as a religion. Therefore, said he, masonry could not be a religion. End quote. That's really obscure logic. That's a mm. bunch of um, nonsense, ladies and gentlemen. Who is the God of Freemasonry? How can we be sure of his true identity? Kentucky Monitor, complete monitorial ceremonies of the Blue Lodge, page 116. Now, this is interesting. The Kentucky Monitor, right? What do we see here? Stephen, can they see that? Yes. All right. What is that, ladies and gentlemen? That is the Eye of Horus. That is the Eye of Horus. Oh, it's the Eye of Christ. It's the Eye of Horus, also in the All-Seeing Eye, found on because Freemasonry put forth the great seal of the United States and is found on the dollar bill. That's the eye-seeing eye. The Masonic eye is the all-seeing eye of Lucifer or the all-seeing eye of Osiris or Ra, which is the sun god, thus the link to Osiris and the phallic slash obelisk that are found within Freemasonry. And also found through Roman Catholicism, right? Heliopolis brought this 4,000 obelisk. I think they call it the Vatican obelisk, but it's in the courtyard. And then you have the, well, the symbol, um, which I believe looks like that. That's your symbol found there. And uh, kind of like a clock system. And then the obelisk is found right in the center. 
as you can see, our budget is unbelievable. <laughs> uh, so, and so that's interesting. And then you find the obelisk found in a lot of the church buildings, architecture in the form of a steeple, etc., etc. The all-seeing eye, ladies and gentlemen, the all-seeing eye. I don't know about you, but I was created in God's image, and God has two eyes. You might call me four eyes because I wear glasses, but it's two eyes. I don't worship a Cyclops God, ladies and gentlemen. In, quote, in most of the ancient languages of Asia, I and sun are expressed by the same word. I and sun expressed as the same word. This is all about sun worship. This is all about worshiping the host of heaven, which God clearly forbids. And also God says, don't, don't, um, don't get involved in witchcraft or witches or warlocks. You know, he talks about the Old Testament about killing witches in the camp of Israel. So it was not a good thing to have a witch or a witch doctor, doctor or a voodoo or whatever. It's all linked together, folks. God says, do not use them. Uh, so magicians, whatever you want to call them, you know, oh, magician, you know, doing all the magic. Well, they're witches or warlocks. So we see that the eye and the sun are expressed by the same word, and the ancient Egyptians hieroglyphically represented their principal deity, the sun god Osiris, by the figures of an open eye. And like minor, masons have emblematically represented the omni omnificence of the great architect of the universe. And once again, this is the Masonic all-seeing eye. This is the eye of Osiris, ladies and gentlemen, the eye of Osiris. Fascinating. Mackey, Albert Mackey's revised encyclopedia, one of the most popular Masonic encyclopedias ever written, ever written, ladies and gentlemen, Mackey, Albert Mackey is one of the most respected Masonic authors, various editions, therefore page uh, numbers may vary, go by alphabetical listings. Title page, Encyclopedia of Freemasonry by Albert G. Mackey. Page 130, Bell, uh, or Bella, a spell, spelled B-E-L, is usually pronounced Bell, but both strong in the Hebrew dictionary and Pfizer Bend in his prefer to say Baal. Baal or Bell. Okay. Um, I wanted Freemason is a secret organization of men. The women belong to the Eastern Star with secret rituals and oaths. It's not a Christian organization. Christians who hold high positions in churches such as pastor or deacon, are involved in the lodge because they don't understand that Freemasonry has its roots in mystic religions and have been deceived by Satan. <clears throat> if your family background includes membership in Masons, Eastern Stars, Rainbow Girls, the Demolays, there is a generational inherited sin on you and your descendants. To stay free, you must not have anything to do with this Masonry. This includes the Shriners as well. And follow the Christian life. Masonry is a religion and has a ritual. Christians who are Masons are serving two masters. Masonry is, has a generic God that is common enough for everyone. Yes. The true name of God of Masonry is Jar Bulon. Jar Bulon. Jebulon. The, Jebulon, yeah. The Jesus of the Lodge is a counterfeit Christ. Masonry has a flawed doctrine of salvation requiring abominable oaths. The Bible forbids these oaths and places masonry superior to country and God. An evil tree which hides the real truth cannot bring forth good fruit. Amen. It is a mystery religion which <clears throat> worships sexuality. Jesus Christ is denied as the true Son of God. Masons are connected with Rosicrucians and the Knights Templar. There is an immense amount of cross-pollination between the Illuminati and Freemasonry. Masonry is connected to witchcraft in spiritual in a spiritual pyramid. The devil takes the weak and ignorant, premarital sex, abortion, illegal drug use, and dabbling in the occult and Satanism by children of Masons is a byproduct of their parents following idolatry. Amen. So fascinating. So we see Alfred <coughs> Mackey in his encyclopedia, Freemasonry, we see Bell or Bale. Um, the word is probably the constructed form of HY2, commonly pronounced Baal, spelled B-A-A-L. 
and he was worshipped by the Babylonians as their chief deity. So basically, Baal was the chief deity or god of the Babylonians. Thus, you have the Babylon. This is the foundation of Babylon, ladies and gentlemen. Baal signifies lord or master. All alone, the word applies to the sun god. With jaw or an on, it has been introduced into the royal art system as representative of the tetragrammaton. Ladies and gentlemen, you have Jebulon, right? Jehovah, Baal, and on or Ra, the sun god of Egypt. Well, it's interesting. And then they say, well, it's representative of the Tetragrammaton. And the Tetragrammaton, and we can get into that a little later on, but it's all about the name of God. And it was secret, and it had to be said in a certain way. And you have people, this is one of the greatest deceptions that 99%, even, even truth seekers out there, folks, are going to be using the Tetragrammaton and going to the muddy waters of the scholars, the Hebrew and Greek scholars that you can't trust, folks, going to the lexicons, the Greek and Hebrew dictionaries, uh, and, and dro deriving this sacred name of God when all they have to do is go to the Word of God. It's a form of idolatry, folks. Don't elevate anything above the Word of God. Right. You have something to say, I just want to uh, hidden secrets of the Eastern <clears throat> Star. The order of the Eastern Star is the women's auxiliary for the lodge. Kindergartens for Satanism are order of Demolay for boys and girls, and Rainbow Girls and Job's da Job's daughters for young women. The Eastern Star is shrouded in mystery and has been revised and altered. Blood oaths are taken and was established to appease the women. It is a religious facade and has discrepancies. This is the Luciferian initiation. Hermes is a Masonic redeemer. Mason conjures up demons. Masons are intentionally misled. Masons are sworn to secrecy. The pentagram is sacred. Divinity of man is considered. Masonry, Satanism, and the New Age are related. Masons are present-day Druids. The worship of the phallus is indicated by a circle and a point within a circle. Scriptures are used as a, ch as a chant. Masonry yeah. tries to <clears throat> usurp Christianity. It is, uh, it is back to paganism. There are Eastern Star goddesses. Kabbalistic motto is an important part of the Eastern Star. Sex is the central root. Masonry has a plan of salvation. It's not Christ. You agree to perpetual covenant. It is not a legal oath. There are many sexual connotations in masonry. Plants are sacred to the goddess. Rainbow girls sound innocent, but the Bible is only symbolic, sim, symbolical. And apron has its roots in paganism. Demolays is a kindergarten for Satanism. And it's important to understand that if this is of Satan, you're going to see the fruits of it. You never hear about it. But folks, 2017, there's more human slavery yeah. than any time in the history, entire history of the world. Folks. And a lot of times you're all about Pizzagate and stuff like that, folks. That stuff's been going on a long time where they're going to bring in refugees and go, oh, we're going to help them. And they come in and you have these sicko sodomites and stuff that are into boys through pederastry or pedophilia. And that's all about, and you have people in the deep, in deep in the occult, men and captains of industry that do a lot of bad, evil things wicked things and darkness folks and you never hear about it i mean you have the uh place in california with the big owl with baal worship uh, bohemian grove they bring in male prostitutes they do all these things so sex is going to be there and you're just not going to hear about it they cover it up so uh pretty interesting they had a a, a series there that was really um uh, not made available and it was I believe it was in the state of um, gosh it was Nebraska or Iowa or something like that and it revolved a Republican uh, a black a Republican leader and things like that and involved the, oh, uh, yeah. the Catholic boys school, boys school yeah. boys and, and uh, all sorts of these young boys pederastry that were sodomized and this 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 Republican mm. and the money was flowing and they were trying to, and then truth gets out, but they, he ended up going to jail, this, this black um, um, Republican, but the people at the very top were never mm -hmm. exposed. They're nope. basically saying, um, 
you're going to spend the rest of your life in jail. Uh, so the witnesses were, were scared away. And, but that's, that stuff happens, ladies and gentlemen, today. So when they say, oh, yeah, we're about living a moral life and all this stuff, there is bad stuff that happens in these religions. There is bad stuff that happens in Jehovah's Witness, folks. There is pedophilia and pederastry. There's bad stuff that happens in Mormonism. There's bad stuff that happens in the synagogue of Satan in where you have these rabbis, these rabbis performing fellatio after they circumcise a boy. Disgusting, absolutely sick, ladies and gentlemen. This stuff is a reality and we're living, oh, oh I'm gonna be in martial arts. Well, and you wanna be a trained in a soldier, a soldier, we're battling against principalities and powers of darkness. It's not just this physical, oh, I could do this specific technique and I do the, you know, do this tap and it's gonna kill you. you we have to be grounded in sound doctrine so we can expose the wiles of Satan. So, let me continue here. In the Royal Arch degree of Freemasonry, part of the, ro uh, the Royal Arch um, degree of the York Rite, so that would be the Royal Arch degree of Masonry, right here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, we see part of the York Rite, the secret name of God supposedly is revealed with Jebulon, as Stephen just read, which is a composite name of Jebulon, or Jehovah, Baal, and On or Osiris. The God of the Masonic Lodge is identified as Baal and On, and Jehovah would not plead, would not be pleased to be identified with these pagan gods. This is syncretism, folks. Hmm. This is blending everything together. Remember, you've seen that bumper sticker where it says coexist? You know, with all yeah. the different peace symbols. Peace symbols, the broken cross, a satanic symbol, and all this other stuff, and evolution, and blending everything together. That's what this is. Jebulon is syncretism, blending all the gods together. Now, God is very specific in the Ten Commandments of Exodus 20, uh, chapter 20, the, verse, uh, the first two commandments of thou shalt have no other gods before me. He's very specific about it. And then he goes, in case you don't get it, let me get you the second commandment. <laughs> no graven images above heaven, uh, on earth, or below earth. Okay? And then the Catholics remove that, and then they split up, uh, thou shalt not cover thy neighbor or whatever, and then they make, a, they make ten commandments out of that. Yeah. Hilarious. Not really. All right. The God of the Masonic Lodge is identified as Baal and on. He's pagan gods. Masonic uh, Masonry apparently worships several gods, Osiris and Baal. Among them, there was one god they refused to worship. Lost Keys of Freemasonry by Manly P. Hall. You got something to say, my brother? Yeah. Um, I was looking up here. Freemasonry is proven to worship Lucifer, and it shows that the pentagram, it was proven from Masonic books that Masons worship both Lucifer and Satan. Wow. They serve both the good Lucifer oh. and the evil Satan. That's why you had that Shriner, that old guy. He was like, oh, right. oh Jesus, and the, the light of Lucifer. And, he's, yeah. and, he's, and you look at him like, Whoa. say that again. They're interviewing him. He's like, oh, yeah, he's, he's, he's virtuous. virtuous and, yeah. And, and yeah, they believe that both good and evil exist in equal measures in the world. And the they believe that good virtual. cannot exist without an equally powerful evil. But... Isn't it interesting? They serve both the good Lucifer. They think Lucifer was good because he's the light bearer and let, them, let Adam and Eve out of the garden. And right. evil, Satan is evil. Oh, yeah. And they, they don't, they, they think they're totally separate. So, yeah. Uh, fascinating. So the qualifications of a true Mason found in Lost Keys of Freemasonry by Manley P. Hall, 33rd Degree Mason, page 65, quote, The true Mason is not creed bound. He realizes with the divine illumination of his lodge that as a Mason, his religion must be universal. Catholic means universal as well. You know what's interesting? That they cannot be creed bound. You notice when you're dealing with Jehovah's Witness, when you're dealing with Mormonism or Freemasonry, they don't like creeds, folks. When you're dealing with the Tractarian Society, and we've talked about... That's why we talk about the Westminster Confession, Confession of, of Faith. Faith, which is creed. It has a larger and shorter catechism. These creeds are important. They go, oh, no, 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 we don't want creeds. Satan doesn't want creeds, ladies and gentlemen, unless they're just totally for him. But he doesn't want you to have creeds about the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, uh, so if Christ, Buddha, or Muhammad, the name means little, for he recognizes only the light and not the bearer. 
He worships at every shrine, bows before every altar, whether in temple, mosque, or cathedral, realizing with his truer understanding the oneness of all spiritual truth. Let me read that again. The true Mason is not creed bound. He realizes with the divine illumination, divine illumination of his lodge that as a Mason, his religion must be universal or Catholic. Christ, Buddha, or Muhammad, the name means little, for he recognizes only the light and not the bearer. He worships at every shrine, bows before every altar, whether in temple, mosque, or cathedral, realizing with his true understanding the oneness of all spiritual life. So understanding that an altar is not Christian, folks. It's, not, it's really rooted in paganism, ladies and gentlemen. You gonna say something, brother? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Freemasonry has been so sensitive about any of its secrets ever becoming public knowledge. Masons in every age knew that if the general public knew the satanic yeah. core that existed in the heart of Freemasonry, the organization would either go into oblivion or would have been arrested and put in jail. Now you know why Freemasonry insists on its initiates pledge that if they divulge any of Masonry's secrets, he would agree to have his throat slit and be disemboweled. Amen. So this all equals the true Mason is an idolater, folks. He worships any god at any altar. John 14, 6 says, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So man into godhood, consciousness, Jesus. 1 Corinthians 8, verse 6. Uh, 1 Corinthians 8, verse 6. Now, it is clear that Masons do not atten attain conscious union with their God through Jesus because they deny that He is the one true God. 1 John 2, 22 to 23. You got 1 Corinthians 8, 6? 1 Corinthians 8, 6. But to us there is but one God, the Father, of whom are all things, and we in Him. And one Lord Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we by Him. Amen. And 1 John 2, 20, uh, 1 John 2, 22, 23 says, Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Denieth the Father and the Son. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father, but he that acknowledge the Son hath the Father also. So if you deny the Son, you deny Jesus Christ, which means you deny the God of Jehovah, which means you're not, anti, you're not Abraham's seed, which means you're anti-Semitic. If you deny Jesus the Christ because Abraham's seed is Christ, because Christ equals Abraham's seed, you are anti-Semitic. So Judaism is anti-Semitic. Freemasonry is anti-Semitic. Wow, strong language, isn't yeah. it, ladies and gentlemen? Ah, isn't the Word of God exciting? Yes. Now, the meaning, quote, the meaning of Masonry, a popular guide to the values of ancient and modern Freemasonry, end quote, by Lynn F. Perkins. Chapter 5, Hiram Christ, Christo, hero of Christic, hero of Freemasonry, page 53, Quote, Jesus of Nazareth hath attained a level of consciousness of perfection, consciousness of perfection, that has been called by various names. Cosmic consciousness, soul regeneration, philosophic initiation, spiritual illumination, Brahmic splendor, Christ consciousness. This is all new age rhetoric, ladies and gentlemen. He equals Jesus was not born a Christ, but became a Christ. The Christ state is something he attained. Well, 1 John 4, verse 3. 1 John 4, verse 3 states, And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. All right. 2 John 1, verse 7. 2 John 1, verse 7. You got that, brother? Yep. Okay. Uh, 2 John 1, 7. For many deceivers are entered into the world. 
who confess not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and antichrist. Amen. Yes, that's it. Is there anything in Masonic writings which would lead us to believe that Satan or Lucifer is the god of masonry? Now we see that uh, Ancient Mysteries and Modern Masonry by Reverend C.H. Vail, V-A-I-L, page 26. Quote, In all the initiations and mysteries, the gods exhibit many forms of themselves and appear in a variety of shapes, and sometimes indeed a formless light of themselves is held forth to the view. Something this light is according to human form, and sometimes it proceeds into a different shape. Quoted in Illusion and Baki Mysteries, Taylor, page 66. End quote. Mackey's Encyclopedia of Freemasonry uh, under Manichaeans, also termed Gnostics, ladies and gentlemen. Manichaeans, Gnostics, yin and yang, duality principle. A sect taking its rise in the middle of the 3rd century whose belief was two eternal principles of good and evil. They derived their name from Manes, a philosopher of Persian birth, sometimes called Manichaeus. One of the two principles, Ormuds was the author of the good, while Araman was the master spirit of evil. The two classes of neophytes were the true uh, Vid Vidalian, the list listeners, Samu, Sama Un. So as Stephen was saying, you have the duality principle. You have like Lucifer being good and Satan being evil. You have the white and the black. And that's why you have the checkered board in Freemasonry. That is the, the checkered flooring is symbolic of the duality principle, which is really the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And the, the Lucifer did us a favor by get by introducing sin into the world so that we can become getting them out God. of the garden get them out of the garden so that they can become gods knowing good and evil genesis 322 folks come to jesus christ he's the only way god bless you